Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. So today's video is going to be on my first week at my new university and what kind of things I brought to best prepare and what kind of things were discussed in this first week. Welcome back to all that have been following the journey so far. If you are new, also welcome to you. So my first week of university, I uh, literally raided the stationery store. Ryman was my new best friend and also Amazon. And I decided to buy a variety of things that I knew would help me throughout the course. So let's start. Number one is a folder. So you will need one of these um, to help separate your modules and all your work for different modules. And it's nice to have. It keeps everything in one place and you're able to carry it around in a backpack or a bag of a decent size. Number two is subject dividers. So these are very good for all your different modules. See that all? Yeah, these are very good to separate all your modules and able um, enable you to identify your different modules, obviously through colour codes and stuff. So if you learn quite well with colours like me, these are very good. Sorry, I'm going to sneeze. Oh, um, yeah, these are very good. Uh, water bottle so I made sure that I bought a water bottle because when you are in them lectures in the heat and surrounded by so many people your throat will be dry and it saves you by having to buy a bottle from the campus shop just fill it up at the beginning of the day and there is water fountains at university so you can fill it up keep yourself hydrated and keep your brain hydrated during your lectures and next I decided to buy some cue cards. These are very good for things such as presentations, which you do tend to do. And also to help you write quick revision notes to help you revise for your, revise for your exams. So as you can see, these are also different colours and enables you to be able to write loads of quick, sweet and informative information in a short amount of time. And also they're good to stick up on your wall or stick up around your um, place of residence and able to help you to revise. Um, I'm just trying to think of anything else that I got. Let's have a look. Ah, pencil case. So, yeah, don't watch my pink pencil case. It was a present. Uh, nothing wrong with pink. But, yeah, it's a pencil case. Um, obviously, you all know what a pencil case is for, so I'm not even going to go into that. One of my biggest, biggest things that I've bought so far, which I'm really proud of actually, is my whiteboard. So I had a, got a selection of whiteboard pens and I'm going to pick this up and show you my whiteboard. So this is really good for your course organisation and it basically is good to plan out what you're going to do. So as you can see on mine, it says obviously that um, I'm year two now, I was year one at the time. But I've also written down what exams I've got. So I've got an exam at the top. That's my placement, um, my first placement of second year there. Below that is a new module um, and what it is. So for that module, it is a essay and a poster. Underneath that is another module and the assessment method for that module was a leaflet. Um, then there's another module and that's also along with a numeracy exam and that module is an exam. Then right at the bottom is my last placement for second year, um, as you can see. So I've also written on there who my um, PPM is. So your PPM is your plasma, uh, placement practice manager. Uh, I'm also going to do a separate video on that. And also I also wrote who my personal tutor was. Also on a practice placement manager under their name, I've also written their extension um, as that just helps me remember how I need to contact them if I'm on placement and it's asking for an extension number, it's just a handy tool. Um, I've also got myself a desk, I'm not going to show you that because it's a mess, but this is good for when you're revising and um, when you need your space to plan out your assignments and stuff, so I'd recommend getting a desk if you can, say as you're doing it around the kitchen table or just on your sofa. Um, I've also got a laptop, so I got a laptop, obviously you get which laptop you feel, you might already have one, but I got myself a, um, a MacBook Air, just because I've always wanted a MacBook, and um, I've got my iPhone and all other Apple products anyway, so I thought, why not get it for uni anyway, um, because I'm going to need it, and plus it, I can do other things on it, which I can't do on other laptops. Um, and finally, this is the main thing, your student ID. Once you've got this, you're an official 
uni student and you are good to go. Um, so my first week, it was more welcome to the university. Um, these are resources that you can access, such as we have a thing called PDD, which is like a personal development um, department. And they can help you with things such as like uh, writing assignments. They can help you with your referencing. They can also help you with your maths. They can help you with your English. They can help you with all the skills that you need in order to provide good quality work. We also have a resource called Space. And Space is a um, room where you can practice your clinical skills. So any clinical skills that you've been taught on the course, you can go and practice them in um, Space. For example, if you've done your basic life support, which is your 30 compressions and two rescue breaths, um, and you've done that in a clinical skills session, skill session, but you feel like you still need a bit more practice, you can go and practice that in space. Same with um what other skills we do now? Same with like you're giving out tablets, they have stuff basically anything that you've learned in your clinical skills lessons, you can go and do in space. Uh, they, we also have the library. They told us about the library and um, how, how we can access the library, how many books we can take out, stuff like that, when they're due back, how you renew your books. We also had a um, blog pages that we could make and how we create the blog pages um, and how your personal tutor will look over that and you can connect with your fellow colleagues doing that. It was all the generic information, how you access things, opening times, stuff like that. Then towards the end of the week, we had our module launch, which is where they launch the modules and tell us um, the assessment method for the module and what the module includes. So how, what type of topics. So um, our first module was PVAS, which is like um, professional values and skills. And that was all about uh, being a professional, being, account being an accountable professional, what values and skills are required in this profession. And that was a reflective essay. So we had to reflect on the time where um, something could happen, where it enabled us to reflect and kind of what we could have done using like the cold theories and stuff like that. And that was pretty much the first week. I was nervous at first because I felt weird going back to university, but once I was there after the first couple of days, I felt like I was back where I was meant to be. Um, in regard to like meeting people and stuff, the first day I did just go in and I kind of, because I was like a week late, I kind of just sat on my own. And then um, naturally just people started talking to me. And then as the weeks went on, more people started talking, you started getting to know each other and stuff. And then I, you just kind of, make friends and make social connections um it isn't easy but somebody will always gravitate towards you you'll never be alone because if you're alone guarantee someone else is alone and then you two kind of mingle and then you start mingling with more people um i think there's looking at my class there's at least everybody in there talks to someone or everybody in there has someone to sit with to have the lunch i don't see anybody in the class that sits that sits on their own there's always someone for you if that makes any sense um, and that was pretty much the first week. Uh, is there anything else? No. The next video is going to be on my first semester. So what placement I did. It's going to talk about the OSCE that I did. Um, what exams and how my first placement at this new university restored my confidence. So thank you for watching. Um, sorry if I speak too fast. If I am speaking too fast, please comment below and I will try and pace myself in future videos but this is why i need you guys to comment and um give me feedback so comment like subscribe take care as always thank you for tuning in and stay safe goodbye